This is a brief demonstration of the process that faculty can use to add images to test questions in Blackboard. So here's an example test and let's say that I want to add an image to this particular multiple choice question. I'm going to edit this question and in the question text area I see that there is a content editor. I'm going to drop down a line in the content editor so that I have a space for the image that I want to place. And in the list of content editor tools, I want to look for the add content icon. If you don't see this icon, you may need to click on the more icon so that you see the add content button. So I'm going to click add content and in the list of tools, I'm going to click insert local files and in the window that connects to my computer here, I'm going to select the images from my images for test folder. So let's say that I want to uh, use the sunflower blossom icon or image there. I'm going to select it, click open, and this tool is smart enough to figure out that's an image and embeds it for me. Okay, so I'm just going to remove any extra spaces. And that's just my preference. Okay, and now that I have the image embedded, I will click Submit, and that image will now show as a part of the question. Okay, now if you wanted to add images to your answer options, there's an alternative process. You first have to go to your question settings to make sure that your options for images, files, and web links are both selected so that you have the ability to add images to feedback and answers. And then when you create a question, like a, another multiple choice question, instead of adding the image to the question text box, you will be adding images to your answers or feedback. So in this area, you could add um, your image by, there's these extra tools that show up. So in this particular answer, let's say that I want to um, change this to banana. And I can choose the image that I want to associate with the answer by clicking choose file, selecting the image, clicking open, and then in the special action drop down, make sure that I'm choosing display image within the page. Okay, so you have an alternative process here because I believe the add content icon here doesn't give you the same options as it would in the answer um, content, content editor. Okay, so there's the alternative process for adding images to answers through the special actions and, and choose file buttons. So once I've attached that file, I can click submit. And so I can see now here, this other question gives me some visual answer options. So the student will see these images when they launch the test, like so.